All right, I'm going to give us some statements I want us to think about, and I want us to determine whether these statements are always true, no matter what the unknowns are, sometimes true, depending upon the value of the unknowns, or never true, no matter what number you insert for an unknown. Let's take a look at an example. Here we go. I have A minus B equals A, and I'm told that the B is going to take on the value negative 5. And the question is, if I put in negative 5 there, so I have A minus negative 5 equaling A. Is that always true, sometimes true, or never true? Well, if we think about it, since this A and that A are the same, this doesn't look good because this is saying that A is going to be the exact same number as taking it and subtracting off negative 5. And that's never true. In fact, subtracting off negative 5 is the same thing as adding 5. So this is actually a plus 5 equals a. And you can see that's never true. A number is never equal to itself plus 5. So this is never, ever true. Too bad. What about this? a divided by b equals b divided by a. This is actually pretty tricky, believe it or not. This is going to be pretty tricky. I'm going to write this out as a divided by b equals b divided by a. Well, it turns out that this is not always true, because I can give a simple example. Let's let a equal 1 and b equal 2. Then this side is going to equal 1 over 2 while this side is actually 2 over 1. And we know that those two things are definitely not equal to each other. So in fact, this is definitely not always true. But is it sometimes true? Well, actually, yes, it's sometimes true. Let me show you another example. Let's let a equal 5 and b equal 5. Well, then a over b is 5 over 5. And notice that's the same thing as b over a, 5 over 5. In fact, both of those quantities reduce to just the number 1. So it seems like I want to say this is sometimes true. It's true when a equals b. But that's not quite right, because there's one number we can never, ever divide by, and it's so easy to have it slip through the cracks. We can't divide by 0. That is completely illegal. We get no answer. So I can't have a or b equal 0. Outside of that little teeny caveat, we have this thing holding for when a equals b. So I'd say this holds sometimes when a is equal to b and a is not 0, b is not 0. So there's a statement that actually holds sometimes, in fact, a bunch of times, but not always. Not always. Anyway, you can see the great uses of arithmetic and combining all the properties we know about the numbers in order to resolve all sorts of interesting issues. Enjoy the interesting issues for yourself. I'll see you soon.